Welcome back, folks. So, in the last one, we set up a whole lot of stuff. Uh, we set up Tacoma getting fuel, Waterbury getting fuel, Virginia Beach getting fuel. Uh, well, Virginia Beach was, was already getting fuel, but we, uh, we set up the internal city delivery lines of fluids. And we did the same, and then we set up the um, the rail line going up uh, the spine of the world uh, cargo line going from Virginia Beach to Frisco to Provo. And we forgot to set up internal lines in Provo and Frisco for fuel delivery. So I built a little... Um, cargo station here and a couple of drops for Provo so let's set up that line or those lines well it's it's just one line no it's one line we'll go from here to there to there and back in and this will be Provo uh, fluid deliveries okay and it's gonna be that color whatever color that is and we will go cargo tank trucks we'll go with two of them and we'll make them whatever color it was uh, that one it is maybe this one maybe if we're lucky uh, so Provo fluid delivers. There you go. All right. So Provo has a setup here. Now over here in Frisco, I think I want to do something a little bit different because we have this very intricate um, delivery thing here for for the passengers, and I kind of think I want to cross the rail lines and come over here and set up another. Um, Uh, and another uh, another thing a thing you know the thing um, another street street is the name for it street all right so we're gonna who are you colliding with we're gonna stick that in there hey Stop, stop gliding. Why are you gliding with something there? I don't get it. You shouldn't be colliding with anything. All right, well, we'll, we'll just do this with a couple of pack houses. And we'll do something like this. Because I think it'll be kind of nice that we have the cargo on one side, one side and the passengers on the other. And then we'll go with a road across here. That is a horrible, horrible cross. We'll bulldoze some stuff just for the hell of it. Um, and that's much better. All right. And this one going into there. And then we'll have something similar over here. I think we'll just go with the big one all the way. Uh, let's go with straight. Whoa. A little, uh, little bit of lag there. The train is screeching because we're trying to build a road across where it really doesn't like it. Right, um, it really doesn't like that. Ah, uh, it's because of the... Um, hmm. So it has to be over here somewhere. Alright. You could just tuck it into there and upgrade this road. I think that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, why not? Let's... 
put that into there. Okay, another Peterbilt. Amtrak. Heritage. Uh, fantasy, apparently. Uh, HC. Ooh, this is a hovercraft. And a man bus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's upgrade. Uh, and we want those. Alright, so that'll work. That'll work. And then we want a truck station over here. And we want... This is a one... We want two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, they might go up to be bigger later because as uh, we discussed, well, I, I discussed, um, I really want to use a lot of truck lines, I think, uh, to bring in goods to the spine of the world thing. And then, uh, so, so we might need more truck stations or upgrade the tr to upgrade the truck stations. And that's fine. Uh, cargo stations. I think we'll put one over here. Then we'll put one up here. Up here. And down here. That should cover their entire city. So, new line. From there to there to there to there to there. Now our tram route isn't really covering the entire city anymore, isn't it? it kind of went off that way, the city. But this is fine, and this will, of course, be Frisco Fluid Deliveries. Almost have a naming convention down. Almost. Almost. Uh, uh, I don't want to buy trams. I want to buy uh, road vehicles. So we need a road depot. And we'll put that next to the tram depot. This seems to make sense to me. As close as we can to it anyway. Something like there. And five vehicles, cargo, uh, the man truck, and we'll get three of them, and we'll follow you, Frisco Fluid Deliveries, I think that is an orange e color. So there, all right. Now we have that set up. And we made this truck route as well, didn't we? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's the goods one. Uh, this one. Yeah, fluid. All right. Oh, let, let's actually take a look at this because we haven't taken a look at this. Well, that's a nice little truck. Not sure how I feel about the color of the cabin, but. It works. It works. Okay. Oh, here we come into the station. That looks kind of nice. Terminal, or whatever you want to call it. To pick anything up? No, not a drop. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, are we getting fuel delivered to go over here? Uh, some, 121 actually. That's not half bad. That's not half bad. And are you now having more consumers? You are. So that is great. 
So I think what we're going to do today is continue our Spine of the World cargo line up to Olaith, Murrieta, and possibly Santa Rosa. But I think Murrieta is going to be a tricky one. I think Murrieta is going to be a tricky one. We have tons of money though, so it's, it's not really a problem. We're making like nine, 91 million, so yeah. Before we do any of this stuff, let, let's take a quick look at our financials on the lines because we haven't done that in a while. So let's just check the balances here. Uh, what's this? Tacoma, Virginia Beach fluid hauling. All right, so yeah, that makes sense. It's not making any money yet. The spine fluid hauler is not making any money yet. That also makes sense. That also makes sense. No money on the Tacona Virginia Beach commuter. Del Paso oil to fuel to harbor is actually losing money, which is surprising to me. The Waterbury crude to oil trucking is losing money that's a new line as well it'll, it'll start making money when we when we get there except that we're using the wrong kind of truck so let's replace you nope not clone uh so yes replace with the tankers. That's much better. That should help. All right, so that's something I missed. Um, so now there's tankers on there. That's a good thing. Uh, the Pasifiat little bus service isn't doing too great, but fine. Murrieta to Mcula, not doing too great. But we're actually hauling quite a lot of passengers, so I think it'll be fine in the long run. Uh, El Paso goods to Ross and Ross Food is not doing too well. Mm. That's fine. We have a lot of lines not making money, but it's small amounts of money, except for the top five, you might say. Let's see what's making money. Manchester Tools to Columbus and Hialeah. That is making a crap ton of money. 16 million. Roseville Coffee Berries to beans to food, making a lot of money. Juliet Port Oil to plastic, making good money. Santa Rosa Crew to oil to transfer is making good money. Beatville's Food and Goods, beautiful. Provo Plastic, beautiful. Joliet Iron, beautiful. Midland Logs to Columbia. Oh, we, we are making really good money, man. Really, really good money. We have a lot more lines that are making money than are not. And they are outperforming them like two or three to one. In, yeah. Money is rolling in. Money is rolling in. You win some, you lose some. Every line can't be profitable. If it was that easy, then everyone would be doing it. Now, this is a very, very short station, isn't it? Well, it'll just have to do. Um... Okay, so let's let time pass a bit and get this built. So the first thing we need to do is we need some tracks, we need high speed with catenaries. And we need a couple more, another platform. So that seems good. There we go, platforms. No, not there as usual. I wonder why they have that 
the option to build that a little bit out from the tracks. It, it seems weird. Okay, so that's built. And then we need one over here as well, but I'll wait with that. So let's get this going up to Olath. Oh, this, this going up to Olath. Okay. So. Uh, tracks. Uh, high speed. With catenaries. And we need to come up and over or down and under this track. And the road, I think. We'll, we'll do both. So, I think up and over. Yeah, up and over and then through a tunnel into there, probably. It's going to be the solution. So, let's do 220. 220 will be fine. And then we really need to come up. And we need to get a yeah exactly in that direction i think we need to get a bridge over here um let's see that's kind of a nice bridge let's go with that Can you come in here you come across with it and then we need to go down actually let's try not to do this and just try going straight in to the station and see what happens now that I don't want I don't mind the tunnel there that's fine but I definitely don't want it to be a bridge for that far. So... We'll come down here. What is that? That has to go. Okay. So this is fine. I think that's fine. And then this definitely has to go. Uh, high speed with catenaries, and we'll take it from the bridge because then it will use the same bridge type. And that seems like a good idea. So that'll work. And then we'll come straight in to the station. And that seems fine to me. Okay. Uh, let's do a little bit of smoothing. Because it's needed. Uh, like that. And over here it's kind of needed as well like that beautiful okay then we can run alongside these tracks up to around here and figure out how the heck we get into there and first of all we need to get these trains out of the way i think so let's do that and pause. Now, this is definitely going to have to go like so. Uh, where is the... I don't want it. This bit. Okay. And then... 
no, I definitely don't want to pull those. Suck. Um, we need some tracks. To come in here. And in here. And then a platform in here. And that's a very, very elevated train station on this side, but that's okay. That's what you do. Okay. And I'm kind of thinking that we should try and come out and over from this side. And then come in and follow. Because when we continue on for, on the spine of the world rail, we need to come down this way anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay, how the heck do we get across here? Uh, hi. Let's just try doing something like this. And see if there's any way that we can do this. There is actually, we can come across there, but that is terrible. And how the heck do we get back down? That 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 that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Um, let's try. Building a bridge across like this. It's not gonna work either. Is it? It's definitely not gonna work. Uh, We want you to be straight. Okay, it's gonna have to come up higher. Will this work? That's straight. So we maybe we simply bend a little bit this way in order to come across. I think that might be better. So if we come out like this, don't want a bridge there. Maybe I do actually. No, not yet. So maybe we come out something like this and then come across and in. I think that'll work. You might even not have to go that far. So something like that. Let's try this for a second. So if we okay, that is way too steep. That's still way too steep, isn't it? Let's just try for a second. It, it's only money, right? Mm. because I didn't hit the right one. Too much slope, yeah. Too much slope. Alright. Didn't mean to tear that tree down. Alright, let's try 
this then. Okay. So that'll work. So that'll that is what we're gonna do. Maybe pull it over a little bit so that it's a uh, hundred. Okay. And I certainly didn't want it to be a no support bridge because that's just weird. Alright. Um So something like that. Now I'm okay with it. I, I really am. I am okay with it. As long as we can get bridge pillars in here. That might be a problem. I really kind of like this bridge. Let's try this. And see, can we get bridge pillars in here? We can. And do they look absolutely horrendous? No, they don't. Okay, let's do that. And then... We'll come down. And try and tie into the other rail. Okay, let's do that. Okay, it's gonna be a little tight, but it's okay. It is okay. I can actually live with this. I hope you guys can too. I know some of you can't. Some of you can. Alrighty. So this is some junction. We have a bridge, a tunnel, a rail going over the tunnel, and a bridge going over the rail going over the tunnel. Which I think is pretty cool. It seems busy. I don't mind this at all. If you do, then sorry. It's not my problem. <laughs> right, so that goes all the way up there. So that means if we can get a little crossy thingy in here, a junction there then we can actually extend our train here where where is it is that the that is the commuter where's our fuel train this one no. Where where the hell is the fuel train? Oh, well, there it is. Oh, right, it's in the perfect spot. So if we do this, and then tell you to go from Provo Halt. To Olath, to Murrieta, back to Olath, back to Provo Hall, and back to Frisco. Mm -hmm. Then you're fine. For now. And that means that we can jump on board here. Take a look at the beautiful yellow train.
think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. And then we can take a ride on it. Uh, no, over there, I think. Alrighty. Let's take a ride on the train. And we are going fast. We're up to 120 kilometers an hour, which is our top speed. We're actually hauling 34 tons of fuel. So that's pretty cool. We won't be able to unload mu much of it here, I guess, because the train is so long and the train station is so short. Yeah, we unloaded five. That's fine, though. Mm -hmm. and then we continue on the Provo. Here comes the passenger train. Woo woo! And up we go. The nasty, nasty hill. The nasty, nasty hill. Okay. We're up to 85 kilometers an hour. That's actually quite okay. And we're gonna have to slow down for the bend here, I guess. Quite a bit. Ah, uh, down to 74. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. 73. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, 72 we're down to now. That's the hill that's doing it. It's not the bends, it's the hill. 71. It is a nasty, nasty hill. 70. Go, 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 little choo-choo. This is a big boy that's struggling up a hill. 71. Alright. 72. Hey, we're speeding up. 74. 76. 80. Wonderful. Alrighty, and we are coming in to Provo. Right? There's Provo. Yeah. Alright, unloading the rest, I guess. Yeah, because we didn't have any production for the other guys yet. And then we come back up. And we go over this little road. Looking good. Looking good. And the rails. Unfortunately, there are no trains crossing right now. Where do we see? Yeah, there's one. But look at the views. Through the tunnel here. And into Olath, I guess it is. Yeah, it's Olath. Yeah, heading for Upper Olath. All right. And then next is the busy bit up to Murrieta. Which I'm kind of looking forward to, to be honest, because I think that is going to be an interesting run. I think that's going to be an interesting run. I didn't realize we made a little tunnel here, but that's okay. And off we go. There should be loads of trains around here. So we have one over there, we have two, we have three over there. Look at that. This is a busy train station, a busy cargo station, guys. This is a really busy cargo station. Next train coming in. Beautiful. We can see down all the way to the harbor, pretty much. Can we see to the harbor? We can't. We can see the harbor down there. That is so cool! So yeah, uh, next time we will 
continue our spine of the world track and continue getting all of that set up so that we have spine of the world track all the way to the end uh, of our current rail network and then we'll expand on it after that so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time